what's up guys today i'm going to go through how to create this cool transforming effect so here are my two video clips i'm going to be adding this effect to and you want to use two shots which have very similar composition so that they both match up and the first thing i'm going to do is separate them and then on this one i'm going to copy and paste it hold down option and click and drag the video clip up and then on this one i'm going to right click and go to new compound clip just because i have stabilization added so i don't want to mess it up and then i'm going to go to the last frame hold down shift and press h this will create this freeze frame so we can cut this so that we're just left with the freeze frame and i would cut this to around about just over one second long so now we need to cut out the subject in the frame so let's go to the effects tab over here and go down to mask and keying and i'm going to add a draw mask effect onto this and just click and cut around the car and then i can select all of these points go to smooth just to smooth them all out so now we have a cut out of the car what i'm going to do is copy and paste this freeze frame hold down option click and drag this up and then on the bottom one i'm just going to press v to disable that just so we have the original there and on this one i'm going to add another draw mask and start cutting the car into separate pieces i'm going to start from the front of the car and work my way back so i'm just going to cut around some of these body parts and this bit is going to be very time consuming so now that i have the first part cut out i'm going to copy and paste this layer again holding down option clicking and dragging and then selecting this and if we go to the draw mask i'm go just going to reset the draw mask and then cut out a new part of the car and i'm just going to repeat this step until i have the whole car cut out into different parts so yeah i'll see you in about an hour's time now we have all of these layers which make up the whole of the car now what we need to do is animate these so they move around the screen to create like a transforming effect so what we could do is select each layer and go to the transform tool over here, add keyframes so that it moves around. I'm going to do this the lazy way. I'm just going to add like a shake preset to this. So I'm going to select one of my layers, go to my effects tab, go to my shake presets, and I'm going to use the handheld effect onto this. This handheld preset doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to it in the description. Final Cut Pro has a built-in handheld effect, but it doesn't have many settings that you can change so that's why i'm using this one so once the part is moving around like dotting around like this what i'm going to do is select video clip press command c to copy the effects and then select all of my layers minus that one press shift command v and then i'm just going to tick the handheld effect that we added and click paste and then I'm going to go through, select each layer and just press this random seed button, which will give a different shake effect to each one. So it will just randomize the shake on all of the parts. So now we have the car. So now we have all of the parts on the car separating like that. Now I'm going to go through and just offset all of these so that they disappear from the screen at different times. So now we have all of the layers disappearing at different times. I'm going to select all of these and right click and just put them in a compound clip so that it's nice and neat. Now I just need to repeat all of those steps with this video clip. I'm just going to bring in the work that I did before so I don't have to go through that whole process again. So here we have the second video clip all chopped up with the shake effect added. And then I added it into a compound clip and because of the way the shake effect works, what I had to do was select it, go to the speed wheel here and just go to reverse video clip. So now all of the parts come in and then they end at a complete subject. So now I have this portion. What I can do is drag this over the top of my previous one. So now all of the car parts sort of mesh together and create this transforming effect. So now we have this effect but we're missing one thing. We're missing the background for each image. And for the background, we need to replace the subject and fill in the blank spaces so that we have a clean background. I'm going to use AI to do that, to replace the car and to fill in the background. So what I need to do is go to the last frame on the first video clip 
and export the freeze frame. So if I go up here, JPEG image of the last frame, and then I'm gonna head over to the OpenAI website. I'll leave a link to this website in the description, or you can use Photoshop. So on this one, I have to upload my image that I just saved. And let's click skip cropping, click the tick button here, and then this generation frame, move over the subject, and then click the eraser tool down here. Now we can paint around the subject, trying not to go too far over the edge. Now in the text up here, we need to add a prompt so that the AI can add in what we want. So I'm just going to type in empty concrete because I'm just trying to describe what's in the photo without the car there. Empty concrete road. And then if we click the generate button over here, it's left the shadow, but that might actually work for what we're doing. So I'm going to keep this image. Let's click accept. And then if we go to the download button here, that will download the image. So now I'm going to drag that image into Final Cut Pro. And then if we can extend this image all the way along and put it underneath our two layers. So now we have a background to this. It's starting to look more like the finished effect. The next thing I'm going to do is repeat the same step for this. So here is the second image without the subject. And for this one, I'm going to transition it onto the screen. I'm going to split it up and transition it onto the screen. So let's go to the effects and go to mask and keying and add the draw mask effect to this. And let's split this freeze frame up into different sections. And then once we have it cut out, I'm going to go over here to the crop tool and then click Ken Burns. And I want the end red box to fill the screen. So let's click this arrow up here. And then the green box, I'm going to move into the black area here. So now this video clip kind of comes up from the ground. Now I just need to repeat that step for the other parts of the image. So let's copy and paste this. And on the draw mask, I'm just going to click invert mask and then go to the crop tool and make sure the green square is in the dark area over here. So now we have this splitting onto the screen. You could split it up into even more parts if you wanted to get more in depth for this effect. So if we drag this underneath both of our car layers so that it comes onto the screen mid transition. I'm also going to bring in this image of like a car chassis and put that behind both of the cars. Now what I'm going to do is select all of these and put them in a compound clip. So right click and new compound clip. And then I'm going to bring in an adjustment layer. Adjustment layers don't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's a free download that you can get. It's just a really easy way to add effects to your videos. And I'm going to cut this adjustment layer where the effect starts and stops. And then I'm going to add a slight shake effect to this. So I'm gonna to go to my effects tab and then shake presets and add the rumble effect onto this just to add some motion to the effect. And then I'm going to add another adjustment layer onto this. And on this one, I'm going to add some motion blur. I'm not going to use the regular motion blur for this. I'm going to use RSMB, which is a really premium motion blur plugin, but it's really good. I use it quite a lot of the time and it's just going to blend this effect together. And finally, I'm also going to add a slight zoom in and zoom out effect. So I'm gonna to go to my titles tab and go down to these smooth camera zooms. And then I'm just going to add a slow zoom, a zoom in and out. On these camera zooms, it also has this target area where you can zoom in to the exact point that you want to on the video. And then over here on the parameters, we can set the zoom amount. So now let's render that out and see what it looks like. I missed out the shadows and a few other things, but for a quick job, I think that actually turned out pretty cool. But yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.